name is Liam McGibbon. I'm an athlete. Sort of. I'm a drummer. And without meaning to be, I'm kind of famous. It really started in 2008, actually, when my um, middle son um, was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Yeah, you heard right. Brain tumor. That's me right after my first surgery. That's me with no hair. And that's me being kind of famous. We were uh, sent to McMaster Children's Hospital and uh, they actually asked him to be a poster child for their fundraising campaign that was starting. That started a time where we just started asking and seeking, started to get a sense that there might be something else. Back then, my family lived in Milton, Ontario. That's in Canada. My dad worked in Milton at a church we helped start. He led the music. Yeah, church music every Sunday. And when I got sick, Dad, along with our whole church in Milton, started asking questions. We had good days and we had bad days. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there was times where it was like, why is this happening for sure? But looking back, we tried our hardest to ask not, why did this happen to us, but God, what can you use this for? I ended up having two big surgeries. The hospital was 30 minutes away in Hamilton, Ontario, and we pretty much lived there for a long time. Hamilton's a big city, and it doesn't have many churches, and my parents started to notice that. We met so many people that just were so lost, and so even though we're small, in Milton we really felt that the church in Milton was already going and we needed to, to move on to where there was nothing. So now that I'm not sick anymore, my parents have decided to do something crazy. We're packing up everything, selling our house, moving to Hamilton, and starting another church there. If I was just to look at it, and from one point of view, I'd be like, you're, you're crazy. But finally, I think God said, Milton is a church plant. You guys always said that you want to be a church that plants other churches. Well, who are you waiting for? This will be our new neighborhood. We've already met a lot of people here, and we're hoping that one day our new neighbors will be our new church. We're praying that these relationships turn into opportunities to, you know, to share the gospel message with them and to, to start a core group in that neighborhood. And we want to use our house as a ministry center and start something there and grow it from, from there. I'm going to miss my home and all my friends in Milton, but my parents say that God will give us everything we need in Hamilton. That's good, because I guess, in a way, I kind of started all this. Your son having a brain tumor is not in and of itself a positive thing. But even in the midst of that, we just know that God is there and God works. And we're really excited to see the things that God's going to do. I want to thank you for praying for and giving to the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. It's because of your support that we can be here on the field doing what we really think God has called us to do, and that's be missionaries to the city. So once again, thanks for praying. Thanks for giving.